ma total in Zambia I had the Zambia hospital going uh, towards uh, the American embassy but uh, what we've observed uh, since they worked on the Zambia junction at Arena Mall is that now there is uh, some level of uh, jam on this section which never has happened and I think this is because of uh, increased ease with which vehicles leave the other intersection and now all come and uh, congest here and especially here towards as you get nearer to the to the hospital here which is on the right but you can also see that uh, the hospital has expanded they have built another about five-story building to cater for more capacity of the hospital and basically traffic flow here has become a bit uh, better especially considering the fact that the jam that used to build up here now especially in the morning from this side towards town is now alleviated by the or decongested by the increased volume intake down towards town at the Zambia Arena Mall but as you come here towards the this junction going to the church I want to show you something that has become uh, a bit of a challenge on most of these uh, road projects in uh, I think in several parts of the city within the greater Kampala metropolitan area I don't know whether it is uh, because of poor planning or it is uh, the laxity in the authority which is KCCA but uh, on this uh, road which we are about to join which has been uh, finished in the last three four months and uh, fully opened up to public that's when uh, I don't know whether it is telecom companies passing fiber or it is uh, the water companies trying to put utilities what you see on the entire left side is the uh, move excavations on the road that has just been worked upon they're trying to put channels i don't know which cables they want to pass in that section of the road but this road has just been under construction in the last for the last almost uh, one year they're trying to work on it but now that it is finished it has been fully open to the public now you see people trying to dig up now channels i don't know for what reason and yet they had the entire time look at now this section here on the left which has been built up with pavers with the very good grass already starting to grow they are all going to dig that up and the put soil everywhere and interrupt the traffic flow and even the pedestrian walkway that has been designated on this road I think in one way or another this is uh, poor planning I don't know who is responsible but uh, it is uh, unsightly it does not uh, show that uh, this road or the whoever is putting up that infrastructure did some careful work or whether they were around during the construction of the road these are, I believe should be activities that should be foreseen so that they take you know, the necessary steps so that they inconvenience the, the user once and for all. Once the road has been done, well, it is now very easy to, to, to use the road. There are no potholes anymore. But now we're enjoying it and you're going to see everywhere people trying to excavate. Others will want to even cut across the road to lay pipes and the like. I think that is something that is unbecoming in several parts of, uh, of Kampala. This is something that uh, that we can avoid if we carefully plan. And I, on the one hand, I believe even the people putting up the roads should put in place ducts which can later be used, say, by these water people or power lines or or these telecom companies. But in the process, you notice that uh, water lines are going to be cut water will be cut off for some areas inconveniencing the end users and the likes i think this is something that people need to consider 
um i don't personally i'm not i don't always appreciate it i, I think we can always uh plan better we can always uh, do different and make sure we do something once and for all it is uh, not any different you saw on the on the express busega to entebbe when it came time when it came to time to put up the the lights on the road they had to dig afresh for ditches where to put cables to pass electric electric power lines to supply those uh, lights and so on yet the project you would think that something that was planned something that as big as that something that uh, cost a relatively large amount of money should have been planned with the, those lines in place, with provisions, even for future expansion of uh, power lines from the overhead power lines to underground power lines, which have now become unsightly in most parts of Kampala. But that will be another topic for a different day. Today, I just wanted to highlight the challenge that we face with these different uh, companies utilities especially whether telephony or water or electricity that uh, do a shoddy job soon after they have done excavations on the road you find the road that has been um, well tarmacked like this they come dig across and the and the repairs that they do are really appalling and need to be you know they need to be looked into i think the body responsible for the city in this case KCCA should do take charge of uh, of these activities that are scattered across the city and make sure that at least it holds these people responsible perhaps even penalties should be put in place to to make sure that where shoddy work has been done uh, those companies pay because you find that these roads are opened up for extended periods of time creating both a hazard to the people and a discomfort to the road users. So that's all I wanted to share today. Uh, in the next or oh, in one of the upcoming videos, I'll talk about these growing power lines. You find that a section like that has like six, five poles, all carrying different utility companies. It's MTN, Airtel, you hear of rock, you hear of Zuku, you hear of this, and these are becoming unsightly within the city, but that will be a topic for another day. It's evening time here in Kampala. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are, and have a, a lovely experience. Enjoy, and uh, you take care.